Hi, I'm Sandra Kay, and today is placements to make the pinwheels. The pinwheels are sitting out here as an example, but we're going to just brush them off to the side, and then we're going to pick them up. Start at your top corner. What I like to do is have the color. This one's at noon. This one will be at three. This point's at three. So this red point will be down at six. And this red point will be at nine. And then you get your pinwheel block. And if you don't, if, let's say you want to do it a different way, all I do is place this one. And then the one right across from it is going to be opposite. There's that placement. And then I'm going to use a different color. But I want the points all to go out there to the middle. These points, that's not the right point. So once you get one of these points in, this one is going to be opposite this one. So that tells you placement is right there. And I could sew them together. And, and then I guess Jenny Doan has where she just says point them all to the middle okay there's point to the middle that's point to the middle but you got red against red so that means you have to point the other direction so again here oh I don't want the red against the red so I need see if I put it this point to point I back to the flying geese unit look if I put this point to point, and then this point to point, that's the Jenny Doan way. And then a friend, so Terry, she said, it's like, I'm putting them every other one. She says, sit out your rotating mat or cardboard, sit out your piece. Rotate, take your same block, place it, same block, place it, same block. All those different variations just to do the placement of a pinwheel block. And then these are all pressed to the dark, so it will make it easier for sewing. Because they'll nest right down in there. But the thing is, remember where you're supposed to sew. Okay? When you pick them up, make sure to always hold the part that's supposed to be sewed and put a pin in it, is what I do immediately and then you can do that to this one just lay it over you can kind of nest it don't turn it flip it or anything and put a pin in it so I'm going to sew this one pinwheel block together as soon as I find my foot pedal Take, and once you start sewing, you know you got the correct side, you can take your pin out. Okay, I always start with the bulkiest end. That way I can pick, pick up my presser foot, start across, remove the pin, make sure everything's positioned right. Then I'm going to put an ender in. That keeps your thread from coming un unthreaded. A lot of people have trouble with our old eyes. So when you open these up, I go, because this is the dark, the biggest share is the dark. That's where I finger press. Open this one up. Same thing, wherever the dark is. 
that covers the most of the white. See, those are identical, but when you flip one over, your, your pinwheel's coming out. So now, with that one flipped towards the dark, this is another nesting. And we, we pin the nesting. It just keeps it from moving. Line up this corner. Start sewing. The, the ender's in there. Stop out there. Remove the needle. At this point, this is where I reach over. Because I don't have a leader and an ender. Get it ready. Line up these pieces again put the leader under reach up there snip your thread you open this up and I just finger press and there's your little pinwheel And thank you for watching. If you like it, thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. And please share. And I appreciate any and all comments that are left. Happy quilting.